Bob, Bob, Bob. Bob, Bright burn. It's like Cyberman, but he's psycho. Yeah. He may look like us. He's not like us. This sort of dark Superman thing is, it, I mean, I like James Gunn. Yeah. I, I, I have, I have faith in his abilities, uh, but, um, but this seemed, this seemed a bit like beating a dead horse. If we oh, were I talking know. about with, with Avengers that we're, um, that you're tired mm. with the whole Marvel thing. This sort of thing just feels that, you know, cynically thinking this is like we're gonna milk this superhero thing. Mm, no, uh, it's something new and edgy. Yeah, and as 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 much as we can mm. for as long as we can, and I think that that's uh, that's that's one of the things about the superhero genre as well. That because it it is now a genre. Mm. Um, I don't know how long it'll last. That's what I was when I was saying about it'll be interesting to see what ha happens with Marvel in the next five years. That is, is this, is this whole thing? When is it going to run out of steam? Yeah, that's a good question because there is the problem that it might not be sustainable because it is, in a way, it's not that interesting. It doesn't have that much depth to it. It's yeah. just people with abilities doing a lot of things that are really similar to one another. Yeah. Yeah, it it does get tired at some point that you you stop you stop being astonished at these people who can just do whatever mm. they want. Uh I mean, I thought that I've been watching um Luke Cage, the second yeah. season of Luke Cage now and I think that that's a really well-made mm. show because it's not only about the guy with the superpowers mm. and it's not only about a guy who can withstand bullets and mm. so on they've been able to include uh i mean in terms of what's interesting as a uh, a commentary i thought i think that luke cage has done what black panthers tried to do much mm. better mm. it talks about black culture yeah. Everybody talking about Luke Cage like he's Jesus. I know it in incorporates black music. Mm. I mean, live performances yeah. of black music into every episode yeah. without it seeming like it's a very completely forced thing. Mm. And it talks about the culture. And I think that that's, that's been the most successful way in how to yeah. address real issues mm. using this superhero thing yeah. as a as a as a template and i think people should be looking at suspiria yeah as as a as a sort of a example of what you can really to do with something that is supernatural yeah because you can really do a lot of stuff with it and the problem is that people are, are basically doing the same stuff over and over again with little variations in it yeah and i think that this movie i think that brightburn is probably in the executive meetings has been like you know we're doing something new that now mm. it's we're, we're taking this whole thing and we're just flipping mm. on its, it on its head and it's still the it's same super fucking yeah, thing. yeah yeah that's <laughs> yeah. the thing that it is the same fucking thing and this has been done over and over again decades ago in mm. the comics yeah i mean you've had like the dark superman mm. you've had you know alternative timelines where yeah. Superman becomes evil and so on and so on. So uh, that's not really 
reinventing mm. anything. Uh, and that's, what, like you were saying with Suspiria, it's a completely different thing yeah. when you actually wipe clean mm. the whole slate and then think about what you're going to yeah. be able to do. The only thing that I'm really interested in this movie is because it has this sort of um, a boy that seems kind of autistic in a way. Yeah. So I'm sort of interested in the in uh, if they're able to sort of uh, because in my opinion the problem with uh, the new Superman movies has been the thing that not not uh, enough autism. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, when you think about the mind of Superman, I mean yeah. he is able to hear and see and smell and shit like that almost everything that is going on around him yeah so he has to have an extraordinary mind yeah and when you think about what that stuff actually would mean then it's sort of interesting and i but i doubt that they are sort of gonna they're just gonna make him a bit creepy and seem sort of like copy some stuff from from the autistic behavior yeah. that they're gonna use but they're not gonna go into depth about it yeah yeah, the, the, the one thing I'll, uh, I'm, I am actually curious about this whole movie is, is how it's going to end, mm. how, how they're going to resolve this. Yeah. I, I mean, if that kid is actually like he's supposed to be seen like Superman, mm. if he is that powerful, what, what are they going to do with that? Is just he just going to dis destroy <laughs> the world or, yeah. or you know, I, that's, that's an interesting thing. But uh, other than that, it just seems like beating a dead horse yeah. and rehashing old ideas and trying to sell them off, off as new. Mm. But it's really hard to do new things within the superhero genre. Yeah. And yeah, that's why I really, I was so surprised by Suspiria. And when I think about it, it's, it's going to be keep talking about Suspiria again. But um, I like it when somebody does something new. It's really refreshing. Really. It's, it's cool.